welcome back today we are going to see sequential data type from the sequences there are three types of data strings list and tuples in previous video we had seen about string so in this video we are going to see about list and tuples let's see what is mean by list list is also a data type in python that is a sequential data type in a core data type so many parts are there from that sequential data type strings list and tuples now we are going to see about list list is the compound data type also that means it can have multiple items inside this square bracket this is example number one that means this is the name of the list simply called as a variable and as also called as name of the list this list contains four values see look here four values all are integers and then let's see the example 2 lst1 it contains a string value a e i o and u look here the list name lst1 contains multiple elements but each element should separated by comma so similar here so these are string data and then example 3 lst2 here apple orange jackfruit and these are also multiple elements separated by comma and same as every element is said to be string again example 4 lst 3 1.2 2.2 3.2 4.2 and so on these are floating time so the list is said to be a compound data type how is it possible to define the list with all the data type means yes we can this is the last example example 5 list 4 here I just differentiate these four variables with the variable name list 4 that means we can define an integer value character value that means string and direct string value and so this is called compound data type which is possible to define the list and list is a mutable one what is meet my mutable mutable means editable modifiable changeable is it possible to change the value which is defined inside the list yes it is possible how let's see with another example so append is the function the syntax of append is list dot append and we have to give a value that means a value in the sense single value because the functionality of the append function is to insert a single element in the existing list especially at the end of the existing list if we use a value to be added in the list it will be added at the fourth position okay so if we try to print the list print list name the output will become 1 2 3 4 5 and then another function is extend how we can use the extend function similar syntax see look here list dot extend but what is the difference between append and extend first of all the similarity is the extend function is also going to insert the element at the end of the existing list 
but the extend function can insert more than one element in the list but append function can be inserted only one element in the existing list so that we can insert more than one element a b c such that if we want to print the list the output will become 1 2 3 4 5 a b c directly if you print the list the entire structure will be printed so this is the updater list means the structure what is meant by the structure the list element should be enclosed by the square bracket so that the structure will be printed as it is in the print list next one is the insert function we can see that so this is our updated list now we are going to insert an element based on the index so you are very well know about the index these are the index so with the particular index we are going to insert a new element look here if we want to insert an element in the index 3 we just use the third index lst of 3 is equal to 14 simply simply we can add an element with the help of the index so what will happen if you print the list one two three fourteen five a b c if you want to insert an element directly with the index the new value will be replace the existing value so that the four will gone so that the new updated list is one two three fourteen five a b c instead of that if we use insert function insert is also another function list dot insert this function require two parameters first parameter is the name of the index and second parameter is the name of the element have to be given so here if i mention the index the same index 3 and the value 4 if we want to print the list now the output will become 1 2 3 4 14 5 a b c so this is the updated list and make a note if we assign the value directly with the index the existing value replaced but if we use the insert function it will insert an element to the particular index and the rest of the elements will move towards right so this is the magic between the insert and the direct value insertion in the list so tuples tuple is also a compound data type and a collection of a data item but it should enclosed by parenthesis whereas list should be enclosed with the square brackets but what is the difference between list and the tuples means tuples cannot be changed or modified so simply lists are mutable and tuples are immutable and we are not able to delete a particular element based on the index but we can delete the entire tuple so that simply we are not able to modify the tuples here tup1 of 2 is equal to 5 here we try to change a value of the index 2 so totally four index are there four elements are there four index in the sense index begins with 0 and ends with n minus 1 so if we try to insert a new element in the index 2 it will show an error which is not applicable so that tuples are immutable similar to strings strings is also immutable but we can access the element from tuple based on the index just use the print function and tup1 so it will print as it is 1 2 
3, 4. If you want to access any particular element, if you want to access the element 3, we can use it. Print step 1 of 0, 1, 2 so that the index 2 will be given. So the output is 3. So look at the two types of output. If you print the entire tuple, it will print as per the structure. But if you want to access a particular element, it will print only the element which is applied to the list also. We can access the list element by using the index so that the particular element will be appeared as an output. So with this, I conclude today's chapter that means list and tuples. We are going to see set and dictionary in the upcoming video. So until then, stay tuned and thank you for watching.